with a mixer in the middle. Even DJs that I hate, I love a little. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good morning. Buenos dias. This is your girl, Kathy Brock, for LUTG Radio. Amen. And it is 6.03 in the a.m. Yes, it is. Do apologize for the first mix up there. I was playing a song that I I was listening to earlier this morning and um accidentally hit that one instead. Um, so anywho, let's go here goes the anthem. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that through him you might be saved. Amen. That is definitely for me, for you, every Jew and every Gentile that, you know, there are no exceptions. There really are no exceptions. Um, I was, yesterday I was talking about, uh, uh, about faith and about how, uh, we left off with about how God is, um, for everyone, meaning salvation is for everyone. Uh, in the beginning, when I always say, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That's true. He gave his only begotten son just for you, just for me. And he really wants a relationship. He wants a relationship with all his creation. But he knows that not everyone will believe him. So, we just got to keep on praying for those that don't believe. Amen. And we just want to say good morning to the Lord. So, good morning, Jehovah. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We shall keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord, Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. All righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time to be blessed and protected. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Our children are blessed. Amen. And wait until marriage to procreate. We are beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptations, submitting to your will, receiving your blessings in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for we always have more than enough all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus also said this, um, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and Greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Yo, hey, he's talking about us. Greater works than, than, he, than he did that we will do. Jesus rose the dead. He healed the sick. He healed people with leprosy. That's when their skin just starts to rot away and just die as they're breathing and living. Dude, he healed like a lot of them. Seven to ten of them, I believe it was. Ten of them. Dude, he's saying, we going to do greater than that. Look, I'm on board. You on board? Let's ride this train. All right? All right. Uh, so we got uh, the um, altar call in the last five minutes of the show. We're going to give you as much music as we possibly can in the next 20 minutes. 
Amen, Amen, Temptations by Midnight Orchestra. Truly. Really? 
as lonely as the blind man who has lost a sense of sound. I'm as desperate as the poor man who finds his dinner on the ground. I'm as broken as the picture of As a hurricane, and girl, I can't take it anymore. No, uh. I'm as empty as the beer can that I drink. Homesick as a one-way train, but girl, I'm not coming home tonight.
Alright, it is time for the altar call, the first one of the day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That means it don't end. It just keep going and going and going like an ever-ready battery, or better than an ever-ready battery. Amen, amen. <laughs> You're like, Kathy, where are you coming up with this stuff? It just comes to me. It just comes to me. Hey, uh, I was thinking about it today. I wasn't going to say anything, but um, this just keeps coming across my, my heart, my mind. And we still do an altar call. But along with the altar call, I want to give you some uh, wisdom. And man, whenever you get saved, you uh, receive the mind of Christ. And you're like, what? Yeah, well, and sometimes it's a developmental process. Like, for example, you heard me say before that um, the people that were injured or hurt or killed in 9-11, God told um, the preachers and he told the, the people that he says, and he, God was hurting. He was, he was basically grieved over all those people that died. And he said, I told them all to leave. He didn't just go to the Christians. He went to the non-Christians. And like I said before, when you talk to some of them, they'll say, I, I heard this voice that told me to leave. I, I felt like I should leave. And those are the ones that were unsaved. And some of the ones that were saved. So a lot of people say, well, I don't hear God's voice. Some people call it an intuition. So when you when you hear that danger is coming, just take a chance and just move yourself out of the way. Seriously. When I was about um, eight years old, eight and I was about nine years old, and uh, I was in the fourth grade, and I was playing around, and the teacher said, you know, keep your eyes straight, keep your head forward. I want you to watch out for danger. But I was you know, kind of a nerd, and I just wanted to fit in, so I started joking around. And all of a sudden, this pole, this pole was sticking out, and it was about to basically blind me or kill me. Because I was joking around. And I was running and joking around, running backwards. And all of a sudden, I heard, stop. And I stopped. And I looked, and the pole was within an inch of my eye. It was within an inch of my eye. So, and within an inch of my right eye. So, what I'm saying to you is God will talk to you and he will he will keep you from danger if you listen. If you don't listen, had I not listened, I wouldn't be here today. The same way he saved my life from a bullet. He saved my life. He saved me from getting hit by a car that was speeding that was actually headed towards me on purpose. So God will protect you if you let him. If you let him. But if you don't let him, the only thing that he can do is grieve over your senseless loss. And he cries. He actually cries and he grieves for you. He really grieves when people are killed, when people are hurt. He grieves. He also takes vengeance, but he grieves. So, I mean, to have that kind of protection and that kind of love, I mean, it, it, it does come through salvation. And, um... And God does show mercy. He, the mercy comes when he shows it to people that are unsaved. But you get more protection when you are saved. So I just want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Alright, so repeat this prayer of confession after me. It says, Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven. I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all your ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in an atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, the praise. Amen. Facebook.com forward slash LUTG radio. Click on the link that says find a church. Amen. And go take the foundation classes and the intercessory prayer classes. I love you. Jesus loves you. Come back for the second segment. It'll be about my peace. Amen. We have uh, I Am Alive featuring Mr. True by Midnight Orchestra taking us out to the next segment. We'll be back in about three to five minutes. I'm that voice inside.
your head that's telling you to do it. And don't you want you us consuming alcoholic fluid? Remember, no me chest when you're taking off or drenching the mind. Sleeping with the right even before the night is tighter. When the groom shows up, you hide. He's not. 